Hello and welcome. We'll be considering theory of simple uh, bending. All right. So if you look at this uh, diagram, if you watch our video on pure bending, so this figure above is a part of a beam that is subjected to what uh, pure bending. Because we said pure bending is uh, a specific condition in which a beam is subjected to bending moment only without what shear force. All right. So the above is uh, a beam that is subjected, a uh, part of a beam that is subjected to this uh, pure bending. And uh, we consider two sections. The first section is section AB, and the second section is section CD. And these two sections, uh, they are normal to uh, the uh, neutral layer, that is the, uh, the neutral axis. All right, I'll say something is normal, that is they are at 90 degree. All right, so uh, it is clear that uh, after the action of bending moment on this uh, diagram, uh, this uh, diagram, that is all layers of this diagram has been deformed into what we have uh, below. All right. So from uh, the top layer section of this uh, diagram here that we have here, if you look at the top uh, uh, layer. Layer AC has been deformed into A prime C prime, and which has been what? Which has been reduced. You can see that if you look at AC here and the uh, a prime year, C prime year. Uh, it has A, A prime, C prime year has been reduced due to the what uh, action of bending moment due to the uh, curve. All right, and uh, layer B D year has been elongated into what B prime and the uh, D prime. At least it has increased. All right. So, and again, you are going to observe that. Uh, at uh, the level, that is uh, at the at a level between the uh, top and bottom layer, there exists a neutral uh, layer which does not undergo increase or decrease. That is what we are saying here is that the neutral layer remains unchanged. It is not affected by the action of bending moment. So the neutral layer here is same thing as the neutral layer here. So this uh, neutral as is, is remain, it remains same. At least it is straight. This considered straight does not change. We said our neutral as is, is the part of is the part of the beam that is not affected by what? By bending. It remains on change. All right. So, and again, what we need to observe here is above the neutral layer, above this uh, neutral layer, uh, we, you will observe that above this uh, neutral layer, due to the decrease uh, in length of the layer, uh, this layer is subjected to compressive stress. All right. You are going to observe that above the uh, neutral layer, uh, due to the decrease in length, you can see we said uh, this uh, uh, this layer A prime C prime has been what decreased due to the action of what bending. So due to the due to the fact that this uh, layer AC has been decreased, so it is being subjected to what compressive uh, stresses. So this part is subjected to compressive compressive stresses. All right. So, uh, and again, below the neutral axis, or below the neutral layer, below the neutral layer, you observe that uh, BD has been uh, has been what increased, that is, it has undergone elongation due to the what 
due to the action of uh, bending, uh, due to the action of bending, it has undergo elongation. That is, it has increased. So the bottom part is subjected to what tensile stresses. So this part is subjected to tensile. So this part is subjected to tensile stress. All right. So it's subjected to tensile stresses. All right. The amount by which a layer increases or decreases in length depends upon the depends on the position of the uh, natural layer. That is, the amount of increase or decrease of this, uh, of this uh, deformation that we have here depends on the position of uh, the natural uh, layer. So the theory of bending, uh, this uh, theory is known as the theory of uh, bending, or you can simply say the, the theory of simple bending or pure bending. So this is everything you need to know about the theory of simple bending. So I believe you understand this uh, concept. So stay tuned for more other concepts. Thanks.